this is really the beginning, I think, of human beings leaving low Earth orbit. I certainly plan on being around to see that. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. In light of the enormous costs and challenges and the critical decisions that need to be made in the next several years, we examine NASA's plans for human exploration beyond low Earth orbit in the near term, mid term, and long term. Uh, the plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is, that is much bigger than what we have today, and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to, be, to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go, and this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's the moon, Mars, asteroids. There's... Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. serving primarily as a logistics agency for low Earth orbit activity. Big deal. Big deal. Big deal.